Hi guys and welcome to a new video on the channel, I'm back. Obviously, new game, new ways to shoot, new meta ways to shoot, so I'm going to show you all you need to know about the shooting uh, in FC25 and I'll uh, go through it one type of shot at a time. So, let's just get straight into it. First, the normal shot. You perform it just by pressing the shooting button and aiming. In this case, you can see from in the box, just in the box, far post, greed timed. We shoot it like that. It's obviously a very good way to shoot from a bit of distance, like I'd say between the penalty step and the box. That's a good shooting technique. Let's go through another example. In this case, again, we got the ball. We're dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. Far post is open. Normal shot, green timed again, and we find the back of the net. Next situation, again, dribbling. In this case, the goalkeeper goal keeps so put the ball to the right and then finish it in the near post just by using a normal shot. So whenever the angle is open, you can use a normal shot and it'll probably fly in. The next shooting technique is obviously the finesse shot. Finesse shot, obviously last year we had the finesse plus, this year we don't have a lot of plays with it. Obviously if you manage to have a Son or a Salah, you should of course make use of it. But the finesse shot, you perform it by pressing R1 and the shooting button at the same time. And if you want to time it, you got to press um, circle again when you're about to shoot. Let's just get through uh, the examples and then you'll see yourself in what position it works. First example, we play a long ball into the Coman. Play looked to Mbappe. I think around yeah, 12 meters from the goal, we open up our body and then finesse it into the far corner. So I think when you're a bit in an angle in front of your right uh, or like in the correct foot, so to say, then it's a good way to use a finesse. Here again, we break from the left. Find the pass inside, uh, eventually to Crespo, we turn our body, we open up, and again, far post open, in front of our right foot, finesse, is a goal. Again, same kind of distance as you can notice. And now we have a 1v1, we, throw, uh, we play Okafor in, uh, he moves the goalkeeper, that way we just go for a simple finesse, uh, just to make sure it goes between the, the goalpost, and we find the back of the net, because that's the only thing we need to do, because the goalkeeper is no challenge anymore. Okay, so next up we got the Travella shot, also known as out of the foot shot. Obviously very metal last year as well, and maybe the year before, I don't remember, actually. I think 23 as well. Form is pressing L2 and the shooting button at the same time. Let's just take a look. So we break from the right, obviously uh, play to Crespo. Then we perform ball roll to open up the angle and into the far post with a Travella. The advantage of a Travella is, is that it kind of goes through the curve, so initially it puts it out of the goalkeeper's reach, but then still curves into the net. That way the goalkeeper has less chance to save it. Next, again, uh, we find Crespo, go one view with the goalkeeper, we perform a barrel again for the angle to open up, and then do a L2 circle shot. The goalkeeper has no chance again. It also generates a lot of power to shoot with your outside of the boot. So next one again, we've got the wild Abedi Pele, dribbling, 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 from a bar roll again, and then a Travella, uh, goalkeeper has no chance. As you can see, we perform a bar roll a lot of times before we do the Travella. This way we re-angle the shot and get the best position for the shot possible uh, in combination with a Travella shot. It's very good in one v one situation, but also effective in the long shots. I'm gonna show you one. So again, bar roll, Travella with Bomati, uh, from, I'd say, the edge of the box, uh, from the side, obviously, and goalkeeper has no chance. As you can see, it's really good when you go one one with the goalkeeper or for a long shot into the far corner. It's got the curve, which put it out of the goalkeeper's reach, and that way, uh, yeah, you'll score goals very easily. So the next shot that's back for me in the first few games I played is the low driven shot and especially when you hit it out of the air. What you want to do for a driven shot is you just tap it really quick, you don't really hold it to load up too much power because then it will go in the air. But if you just tap it a bit then um, yeah, the ball will stay down and roll into the net. First example, we pass it to Theo, ball still in the air, he moves his keeper, we go into the first post and put it down low very calm, this way the keeper cannot react to it quickly because it's too low for the keeper to react. Again with Okafor, we do sp uh, sprint boost, he moves his keeper, then we just put it with a bit of power into the uh, near post and then he just has no chance because sometimes when you put it high, the goalkeeper can have a reflex where he just does like this and saves it, this way he is just, just has no chance. Now again, out of the air, cross comes in, Low driven shot. It's just really good. You can see it yourself. I don't think I need to explain it. Just remember, just tap the shooting button a bit 
and it will stay down low. And now again, we are on the right, uh, find the cross, and this one is the best shot I actually took. Look, he even moves his keeper to the correct corner, but because it's that low and with a bounce, it makes it very hard for the keeper to stop. And the last thing I'm gonna uh, show you are the headers. Headers are of course manual again. That means uh, you can't just blindly aim to the left or the right, but you gotta be precise. So let's take a look. So I think for this one it's easier if you just look at my controller, uh, the way I aim and the power I put. So we put a cross and just to the right a bit. I think when you practice you'll get a feeling for it because for me it has been no problem the last two years. And then the last clip, again, cross comes in from the left. Very short player who, Korea, I believe, who heads it home. It's not that hard. I just want to show you because uh, I see too many times people just messing up the headers. So I thought it was good to include just two headers in there quickly. This was the video. If you haven't seen our previous video about the starter teams, if you're still looking for a good starter team, check out the previous video. Other than that, I'll see you soon. And make sure to be subscribed and like this video. See you.